Hi, this is Puneet Gambhir and welcome to the Analytics for E-Commerce course by Jigsaw Academy. In this course, we will be learning about how data analytics is leveraged in e-commerce companies for better business and technological solutions. The first topic that we will cover is an overview of e-commerce industry and how it is part of a larger digital revolution which the world is going through. Now, as a concept, Digital economy was first coined by Messenberg in 2001 and is also sometimes known as the internet economy, the new economy or web economy. There are three broad components of digital economy. First one being all the supporting infrastructure which, which makes digital possible. For example, the hardware, the software, the data storage. The second concept, e-business, which is more and more businesses now using digital as a medium to communicate to their customers, to their suppliers, to the rest of the world. For example, when you log into your bank account to do a transaction online, it's an example of e-business happening. The third one being e-commerce, which is essentially transfer of goods and services. Anything you buy online, be it an air ticket or be it a mobile phone, you are part of an e-commerce transaction. Now, more and more with digital technologies becoming very inherent with our day-to-day -day life, the distinction between the digital economy and the traditional economy is blurring and they are more or less becoming the same thing. Now, my next slide is about the types of e-commerce companies. And uh, please note that this course is majorly about we going through e-commerce and how analytics is used in it. I can safely say that a lot of the concepts that we would go through can actually be applied to other digital setups as well. Coming back to e-commerce, based on what they offer, e-commerce businesses can be classified into four different buckets. The first one being B2B, business to business. Example, Alibaba, Chinese giant which sells a lot to other small retailers as well. So they are not only serving the end customer but they are also serving other businesses which in turn can then serve to the customers. Second one B2C business to consumer the most popular one I'm sure you all would be aware of Amazon, Flipkart, Make My Trip. Now please note that sometimes e-tail is also referred to when you talk about e-commerce. It is largely a subset of e-commerce and refers to the pure physical goods sale business, such as what Amazon does or a Flipkart does. The third form being C2B, consumers to business. And what this really means is that in today's time, you can actually sell your services to a business. Elance is an example where a lot of freelancers kind of create their login accounts and there are companies who reach out to them for a particular piece of work. The fourth one being C2C, consumer to consumer. And again, a lot of examples around that, Craigslist being one of them. Think about all the classified ads. Essentially, as a consumer, you are putting up something on sale, something on offer, which some other consumer is, is interested in. Now, I mentioned this on the, on the last slide as well. With the rise of digital economy, the boundaries are really blurring. A lot of businesses are now omni-channel, multi-channel. For example, Walmart has online stores as well as offline. Flipkart offers you products on your desktop and you can actually download their mobile app as well and buy there. If you see all around you, you would see more and more businesses adopting to digital because of the convenience and other advantages which it brings. Now this also means a really big need for people who understand digital who understand technology behind digital. And I can't stress this enough, but also the data analytics piece of it. As you go along this course, you would realize that there are so many challenges, so many problems in e-commerce industry, which are beautifully solved by technology and analytics. And that is what makes it a very, very exciting space to be in according to me. Now, a little more detailed look at business to consumer e-commerce, which is again, mostly what we would focus at least in this course. A B2C e-commerce market can be broken down into online travel, online retail, online classified, financial services, 
digital downloads. Within online retail, there are two broad ways businesses work. The marketplace model, where the platform is just a facilitator between sellers and consumers and typically charges a commission to the sellers. The second model is inventory based, where the business would buy stuff that they want to sell, store in their warehouses and serve the end consumers. A lot of companies are actually a hybrid model where they have both marketplace as well as inventory. And that holds good for companies like uh, Amazon, Flipkart, and a lot others. So in this lesson, we learned about what really a digital economy means and what are the various kind of e-commerce companies that we see around us.